Nicola Sturgeon's deleted COVID-era WhatsApps are at the centre of a huge row. At the COVID inquiry, she has now admitted routinely deleting messages during the pandemic, despite promising bereaved families nothing would be off limits. A promise she made in a question I put to her. Nicola Sturgeon apologised today if she hadn't, she said, been clear in the answer she gave to me. That was back in August 2021. And I asked the First Minister, uh, there I am, in her daily press conference, a question that would go on to become crucial. Would she assure the COVID-bereaved families she would disclose private emails and WhatsApps whatever, that nothing would be off limits to a future public inquiry. Can you guarantee to the bereaved families that you will disclose emails, WhatsApps, private emails, if you've been using them, whatever, that nothing will be off limits in this inquiry? I think if you understand uh, statutory public inquiries, you would know that even if I wasn't prepared to give that assurance, which for the avoidance of doubt I am, uh, then I wouldn't have the ability. Let's focus on that answer. Nicola Sturgeon said that if I understood public inquiries, I'd know that she would have to give that assurance that nothing would be off limits. And sure enough, the Scottish and UK COVID inquiries later made it clear that they expected WhatsApp correspondence to be provided. Instead, though, Nicola Sturgeon confirmed today that she had been routinely deleting messages during the pandemic. And her answer to my question came under pretty intense scrutiny. He asked whether the emails, WhatsApps, private emails, whatever, would be disclosed, and you gave an assurance that they would be. And I, you know, as will have been the case in uh, many occasions uh, over the course of uh, not just the, the COVID pandemic, but in my many years in politics, answering questions when you're answering questions you're trying to answer the substance of the question and when you look back at the literal terms of the answer uh, it can be put to you in, in that way so I accept that and I apologise if that answer uh, was uh, not as clear. Nicola Sturgeon told the inquiry she didn't use WhatsApp to reach government decisions, relevant discussions were summarised for the government record and that her use of WhatsApp and informal messaging was extremely limited. She was then asked about messages she'd exchanged with all of these key figures, including the now First Minister, Hamza Youssef, her health secretary at the time, her chief of staff back then, and the First Minister of Wales. The advice I'd always been given since my first day in government, properly, probably, was not to retain mm. uh, conversations like that on a phone that mm. could be mm. lost or stolen and therefore not secure. But did you delete them? Uh, yes. Now, this all matters because it's about who decides what the public has the right to know. Was it for politicians to decide what was relevant to the inquiry by deleting their messages? Or was it for the inquiry to decide what was relevant, which would have meant that nothing really was off limits? And that is, after all, the assurance the bereaved families thought that Nicola Sturgeon had made to them in response to my question, and for which Nicola Sturgeon apologised today.